Welcome everyone to our first ever Google Meet Athletic Awards presentation. It has been an unprecedented year so far with still more construction, the opening of our new gym, the sewage back up in the basement, and yes, three months of school online. Our hearts and thoughts are with all families and friends of individuals directly affected by the COVID virus, and our thank you to all the frontline workers for their efforts. Before we begin the ceremony today, we'd like to acknowledge that the land on which we play, exercise, compete, and grow as athletes is the traditional, unceded territory of the Algonquin peoples. We thank them for being stewards of our land. Miigwech. Many of you young athletes and perhaps some of our new and younger te teachers may not know that the team colors for Bell were not always black, white, and red. In fact, they used to be yellow, gold, yellow, gold, and brown. This is why I'm wearing this 50th anniversary rugby jersey uh, from 2012. And did you know that Mr. Stasco, Ms. Medallia, Ms. Hemstreet, Ms. Bouchard, Ms. Green, Mr. Jessup, and myself were all students at Bell High School. In fact, Ms. Green was my biology teacher back in the late 80s. Sorry about that, Ms. Green. This year, the number of team awards will be less than in the past and will be announced, but there will not be a take home plaque. The major athletic keeper plaques will be ordered and presented to the winners in the fall. All awards and winners list will be posted in the athletics area on the Bell HS website and will be tweeted by at coach underscore Bruin. If you can see that on the back, at coach underscore Bruin. The Twitter link is also available on the front page of the Bell HS website. So without further ado, let us start with the team awards. I would like to ask Ms. Sally to present the first group of team awards. Thank you, Mr. Malotny. To start, the most valuable player award for Alpine skiing this year goes to Holly McGregor. Congratulations, Holly. Next, senior boys volleyball's most valuable player is Ben Samiga. The swim team's ripple effect awards for female and male swimmers go to Leanne Bedard and Alan Guan. Congratulations to you both. Lastly, the most valuable player for varsity girls field hockey this year goes to Megan Erth. Congratulations to all these great athletes. Thank you, Ms. Sally. Okay, congratulations to those athletes. I would also, I would like to now ask Ms. McFall Smith to present the next group of team awards. Ms. McFall Smith, uh, we cannot hear you. My apologies. Sorry. Thank you, Mr. Malotny. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, this year's Rugby Sevens female MVP is awarded to Emma Hawken. Congratulations, Emma. The Golf Award MVP awarded to Thomas Wren. Congratulations, Thomas. Senior Boys Soccer MVP, we have a tie, Kyle Davidson and James Lawton. Congratulations, Kyle and James. And for Junior Boys Soccer, the MVP is Vera Dyat. Congratulations, Vera. Thank you, Ms. McFall-Smith. I would now like to ask Mr. Risk to present the next group of team awards. Thanks, Mr. Milotny. 
The last few years, the girls basketball team has had a core of players who have carried us through the last few years and they're graduating. We gave this senior dedication award to them all. They are Mira Agarwal, Jada Banks, Becca Deneen, Hawa Muhammad, and Vivian Pham. Congratulations, all of you. The MVP award for the tennis team goes to Misha Kedmet Gozer. Congratulations, Misha. The junior boys volleyball MVP goes to two people, Muhammad Awil and Stephen Buck. Congratulations, Muhammad and Stephen. Thank you, Mr. Rick. Uh, I would now like to ask Ms. Triantafilu to present the next group of team awards. Ms. T. All right, we have uh, a few awards. The recipient of the Junior Girls Volleyball MVP goes to Laura Wang. Uh, the Junior Boys Basketball MVP goes to Hamza Bile. And finally, the Senior Girls Volleyball have a Spirit Award uh, to Alessandra, Alessandra Reputin. And an MVP award is shared between Evita Guerra and Jada Banks. Congratulations to all the athletes. Ms. Triantafilu, sorry to, uh, to bother you, but um, unfortunately the, uh, uh, the internet was not working at my end at that, for your first two awards. If you could just repeat the first two awards, thank you. Of course, of course. The Junior Girls MVP uh, Volleyball goes to Laura Wang and Junior Boys Basketball MVP goes to Hamza Bile. Thank you, Ms. T. Thank you. Okay, so it's my pleasure to, um, to present the next group of, of awards. And um, so first of all, the Varsity Girls Hockey Award, um, and we've called it the Senior Dedication Award, so all grade 12s. Uh, it's very special um, in that we were champions this year, hence the big trophy right here. Good job, girls. So Senior Dedication Award team awards are going to Megan Earth, Anna Steckley, Becca Deneen, and Jada Banks. Congratulations, girls. Good work. The next award is going to the Varsity Boys Hockey Team, and this award is going out to the four-year uh, players. The so it's called the Four-Year Dedication Award to Justin McLean, Evan Cook, and Seth Bowlby. Congratulations, guys. Thank you very much, and good luck after high school. I would now like to ask Ms. McKenzie to um, present the next group of team awards. Okay, so this award is for Nordic skiing. Uh, there's two play or two people winning this award. It's for the most important players. We have Leo Boyce and Tristan La Liberté. And then for ultimate, uh, we have another two most important players, Jocelyn Zhu and Jeffrey Liu. Congratulations. Ms. McKenzie. Yeah. I'm really sorry. <laughs> the internet once again is is not yeah. working well. If you could uh, state all of those awards again. Okay. So for Nordic Skiing, we have two awards. Uh, most important players, we have Leo Boyce and Tristan La Liberté. And then Ultimate, another two awards, most important players, Jocelyn Zhu and Jeffrey Liu. Thank you very much, Ms. McKenzie, and sorry about the internet lag. Okay, um, so we're going to try this once again with pinning people, but if it uh, if it's lagging, uh, then I'll just keep it as a uh, as everyone on the on the um, on the screen. So I would like to ask Mr. Moores to present the next uh, group of team awards. Just give me one second, Mr. Moores. Just give me one second. I'm going to try to pin you. All right, you're up. Good morning, everyone. The most valuable player of curling is Violet French. 
The Spirit of Wrestling Award for um, uh, boy, boys is Kieran Rourke. And the Spirit of Wrestling Award for girls is Emma Hawken. Congratulations to, congratulations to all three of you. Thank you, Mr. Morris. Just one second here, unpin you. Okay, so congratulations to all the winners of the team awards and thank you to the presenters. The next group of awards are athletic letters. Athletic letters are earned by athletes during their years at Bell by participating on multiple teams. To receive an athletic letter, one must earn 25 points. Coaches, coaches points and standing points come into play when deciding on the number of points awarded each season to each athlete. I would like to ask Mr. Sasko to present the athletic letters to the 2019-2020 recipients. A wood shield will be ordered in the fall and sent to all presenters or all to or presented at a later date to the recipients. Sorry. Mr. Stasco, just give me one moment and I will have you up here. Just a second. Uh, where are you? There you are, sure. not going to Mike froze again one moment Mr. Stasco yeah. please yeah okay I'm going to try to pin you one more time there we go okay you're up thank you Mr. Malotny the following students are being awarded an athletic letter this year Sarah Buffone. Sarah has participated in basketball, hockey, soccer, volleyball, track and field. Evan Cook, hockey, ultimate, volleyball, golf, tennis, wrestling, track and field. Becca Deneen, volleyball, basketball, touch football, hockey. Jen Hendrick, field hockey, volleyball, soccer, hockey, track and field. Kennedy LaGrove, rugby, rugby sevens, and wrestling. Gabby McCullough, volleyball, field hockey, soccer, track and field. Holly McGregor, alpine skiing, soccer, tennis, and badminton. Hawa Muhammad, rugby, basketball, volleyball, touch football. Matt Richardson, volleyball, ultimate, soccer. Reed Sandvold, alpine skiing, volleyball, ultimate, and track and field. Anna Steckley, Hockey, soccer, field hockey, volleyball. Joanne C., touch football, tennis, and badminton. Eve Wang, badminton, volleyball, and track and field. Nicole Zhu, alpine skiing, badminton, field hockey, cross country running, touch football, and track and field. And Jada Banks, wrestling, volleyball, touch football, basketball, cross country running, hockey, track and field. Jada is receiving her triple letter this year. Congratulations to all of our outstanding athletic letter recipients. Thank you, Mr. Stasco. I'm just going to keep you pinned on the uh, on the screen, but I would like uh, to ask you now to present the special coaches awards for this year. Unfortunately, we do not have the wood plaques to present to these dedicated coaches, but like the athletic letters, we will make sure the recipients receive them in the fall. Mr. Thank you, Mr. Malotny. Uh, our sports teams are wonderful places for students to learn, to grow, and to have fun and memories that last a lifetime. Sports teams can only happen through the hard work and dedication of our many teacher coaches who volunteer countless hours of their personal time to provide these opportunities for our students. This year, we are saying goodbye to five teachers who have coached Bell High School sports and are either retiring or moving to other opportunities. A huge thank you goes out to Melanie Wallace, who has helped me guide outstanding track and field and cross country running teams over her 10 years at Bell. Kim Medaglia has been our head coach for the swim team and has also coached track and field during her 10 years at Bell. Ms. Medaglia was also a member of our Bruin track team as an athlete before coming back to Bell as a teacher. 
Sue Hemstreet has been an excited coach of our Nordic skiing team and a rugby athletic trainer during her seven years at Bell. Ms. Hemstreet is also a Bell grad. Rod Moores. Rod Moores is our touch football guru and has coached golf and curling during his 20 years at Bell. And Judy Mason. Ms. Mason has coached Nordic skiing, field hockey, and dragon boat during her 30-year career at Bell High School. Our admiration and appreciation goes out to all these wonderful Bruin coaches. Thank you, Mr. Stasko, and thank you to the coaches. Okay. <clears throat> the remaining awards are the major athletic awards. These have been discussed between coaches and the athletics department staff in a special meeting. Each winner will receive a commemorative plaque in the fall and their names will be added to the larger trophies and plaques that remain at the school in the trophy case that will hopefully be reinstalled after construction is done. I would like to present the first major athletic award on behalf of Mr. Lawton, as he could not be with us today. The first major athletic award is the intramural award. It's given to a student for outstanding contribution to our intramural program. Mr. Lawton has asked me to read the following. Abdu Adali was one of the main organizers and referees for the three-on-three -three basketball intramural tournament and was very helpful in running the intramural volleyball tournament this year. He also brought a lot of energy to the tournament as a player and was on the championship teams for both basketball and volleyball. Thank you so much, Abdu, for all this help. Bell Intramurals would not have been the same without you this year. Thank you, Abdu, and congratulations on the Intramural Award. I would like to ask Ms. Shaw to present the female grade nine medallion, and I will present the grade uh, nine medallion to the male. Just give me one second. Ms. Shaw. Okay. Let me find you here. There you are. Okay. Thanks. The grade nine medallion given to the most outstanding female grade nine athlete this year goes to Christina Maxwell. Chris Congratulations, Christina. Congratulations, Christina. Now it's my pleasure to give the most outstanding male athlete in grade nine. Um, the first time I ever saw this young man was when he was in grade six at DA Moody. I saw him on the soccer pitch and I was impressed at his strength and tenacity. This young man in his grade nine year was a leading force on the junior soccer team and the junior basketball team. Although he is not big in structure, rather in stature. He backs down from no one um, and, gets, and gets between him and the ball. He also played volleyball this year. This year's grade nine medallion goes to Bara Deat. Congratulations, Bara. And thank you, Ms. Shaw. I would like to ask Ms. Kerlicky to present the next award. Just give me one moment, Ms. Kerlicky. Thank you, Mr. Malotny. Just one second, okay, sorry. Yeah. Here we go. All right, you're on. Okay. I'm presenting the Dare to Dream Resilience in Sport Award. It's awarded to a student who displays perseverance and determination. With COVID, we have all had to learn the grieving process for lost seasons, athletic experiences, and camaraderie through sport, all things to which we look forward to all year. This athlete, unfortunately, had to start that process in September when she suffered a significant bone break in her leg. By sheer coincidence, I was at the venue when it happened. I ran into her dad in the lobby and he said, could you please go see her? The first thing she said getting off the ice was, I have a test in Kralicki's class tomorrow on bones and breaks. Fortunately, I was able to tell her face to face that under no circumstances would she be writing the test. 
but also fortunately, I was able to get a copy of the x-rays to use for the test for everyone else. This kid knows that I wish that her injury had not prevented me from coaching her through two seasons that she missed as she recovered. All, fortunately for me though, she was in so many of my classes that I still got to be a part of the comeback from her setback. Her determination to rebuild her strength, her stamina, to overcome the daily pain and struggles on crutches to get back to skating on the ice with her team was inspiring. She has applied everything I've ever wanted to teach her and I couldn't be more proud of her goal setting and work ethic. She can now run 5K in 26 minutes, is weightlifting, can teach hit classes online and play ring at again, taking no slack from anyone. I hope you'll get that season with your sister just like you wish. Being your teammate would be a true gift. Anna Steckley, congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Kerlicky. Okay. Um, so I'd like to ask Mr. Jessup and Mr. Moores. We'll start with Mr. Jessup uh, in just a moment uh, for the Ladies Centennial Trophy. Just give me one second, Mr. Jessup. Mr. Jessup, is your mic or your phone on? Can you hear me now? Uh, I can hear you now. So I've taken you off of the full screen mode, so you are, but you are on my screen, so we can all see you. All right. Okay. Sorry, you were cutting out on me. The internet. I'm presenting which award first? The Lady Centennial Trophy. Okay. Uh, here we go. Congratulations to all athletes. First of all, this year is a different way of doing it this year. Uh, this award is presented to the top female athlete. Today's recipient took the Bell Sports World by storm this year, excelling in everything she did. Always the first one to practice, willing to work the hardest, and a huge smile on her face. Um, sorry. From, from being the best rugby player on the rig rugby pitch in every single game, a huge part of the girls' hockey team, big part of the girls' Um, uh, ultimate team and uh, a humongous part of the wrestling team. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, most important, most impressively for me is watching this this student stand on the podium at offset in wrestling. Today's winner is an absolute fantastic athlete, but an amazing teammate and a great young lady to coach. Please help me congratulate Emma the Bear Hug Hawkins on her amazing season. Congratulations, Emma. Now, the Lady Centennial Trophy is awarded to a grade 10 or grade 11 athlete. So now I'd like to call upon Mr. Moores to present the um, Lady Centennial because there's multiple winners this year. Just give me, let me pull you up here. Okay. Mr. Morris? Yes, we have three winners. So Emma is the first one. Violet French is the is the second winner. Violet was part of the curling team and the field hockey team. Uh, Violet is uh, an incredibly strong competitor, uh, a fierce competitor. Uh, she is a incredible determination and she's such an intelligent player. Uh, with regard to the curling, she was one of the best players in the city, but most importantly, she was just such a great help to teaching the game to everybody else, whether it's fundamentals, strategy. Uh, she was just a fantastic, uh, a, in every sense, a fantastic uh, player for curling. Uh, so congratulations, Violet, on, on winning that award. The third person is Kira Banks. Uh, Kira played volleyball, uh, was part of the City Champs hockey team, wrestling. She made OFSA ultimate. Uh, she would have done track and field and football. Uh, just a kid that shows up every day ready to play. A great sense of humor. Always a joy. Uh, always a, a quirky comment here and there that just sort of gets everybody going in the right direction. Uh, another incredible competitor. Determined. Uh, congratulations, Kira. Uh, great job. Thanks. Thanks. Good, good job, all three of you. Thank you, Mr. Morse. I just want to mention that uh, because of the internet lag, we're, I'm just going to keep it 
uh, small pictures because every time I go to the larger picture, the pen, um, I, I, we miss a lot. Okay, so, um, and did, was there a bug in uh, Mr. Banks's eye there a moment ago? He was wiping his eye. I don't know what that was about, but uh, <laughs> okay. I'd like to uh, now ask Ms. McFall Smith to present the next award. The Captain Gary J. Hunt Trophy is given for general proficiency in athletics at the junior level awarded to a male athlete. The recipient this year is Lyndon Lucassen. Lyndon played volleyball, soccer, and basketball this year. In soccer, he saved us many times with a strong presence in the back. He was a force on the boards in basketball. He had no fear of boxing out guys twice his size. In volleyball, he worked hard, equally hard in practice and in games, and was a level-headed player. He showed leadership on and off the field. I want to personally thank you, Lyndon, for being the first to volunteer to set up the nets at lunch. I really appreciated it, and you also rallied the other players to come. Uh, Lyndon, looks like you were off to a great start at, uh, in athletics at Bell, uh, so congratulations. Thank you, Ms. McFall-Smith. I would now like, uh, I'd like to ask Mr. Jessup to present the next award. Uh, this next award is a very special award for me. It, uh, it, it was Andrew Ford Award. He's a, a former Bell student who passed away way too young. Uh, not only was he a great guy, but he was a teammate of mine and a friend of mine. Uh, he would definitely be very proud of today's winner. I truly believe without this person's efforts this year, we would not have had a rugby team. Her tireless efforts of, of getting people involved, bothering me to be there constantly, it made the difference of us having a team. She became a true leader and made sure that we fielded a great team. Her game has improved immensely over the years, and it's my great pleasure to present this award to Erica Prager. Congratulations, Erica. Thank you, Mr. Jessup. I would now like to ask Ms. Hopper and Mr. Cook, we'll start with Ms. Hopper, to present the Robert Allen Memorial Trophies. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, the Robert Allen Memorial Trophy is given to a student who displays outstanding athletic effort while maintaining academic standards while competing in extracurricular programs. I've had the pleasure of coaching one of this year's recipients for the past three years. On the basketball court, she's gritty, she hustles, and she's a total threat on defense. On her volleyball team, she's seen as someone who is humble and incredibly dependable. After speaking with some of her teachers, it's clear that these athletic traits also carry over into the classroom. Her teachers describe her as being insightful, driven, compassionate, and kind. She's self-aware and constantly strives for self-improvement. She also contributes to the school community by being student council's co-spirit head. From the court to the classroom and throughout the hallways of Bell, it is clear that Kelly Pham is more than deserving of the Robert Allen Memorial Trophy. Congratulations, Kelly. Thank you, Ms. Hopper. I'd like to now ask Santa, I mean, Mr. Cook, to present the next award. Okay, the male recipient of the Robert Allen Award is a student and athlete whom I've had the pleasure of teaching and coaching several times over his years at Bell. Taught him twice, if I remember correctly, and coached him every year. He's a wonderful, wonderful young man. Some comments from his teachers point out things like, he was one of the few students during the closure to raise his mark, so he was still invested 100% and he was working hard. Across the board, all his teachers say that he's a wonderful leader. He has fantastic people skills. In fact, he was voted the CEO of his escape room, apparently. So even among his peers, he has this stature. And I can certainly confirm that on the court, he was one of our wonderful leaders. He's a young gentleman with outstanding character. I am absolutely thrilled to give this award to ben, Big Ben Samiga. Ben, we're going to miss you. Thanks for your years of studying and competing with us, and good luck moving on in the future. Thank you, Mr. Cook. Congratulations to Kelly and Ben on their awards. I would now like to ask Mr. Smith and Ms. Kerlicki
to present the next awards. I got to get my, my game face on here, my spirit face. All right. Hello, athletes and coaches. <laughs> Captain, Captain K and I are proud to present the Marion Fairbairn Spirit Award to two character athletes who helped to promote spirit in the school by showing spirit through athletics. Be <laughs> These two athletes are so good about demonstrating to their teammates spirit through athletics that we thought that we thought we'd throw some spirit back at them as we celebrate their accomplishments. Um, they're come with this little spirit message. All right. B U F F O N E. Let's go. S T E C K L Y. Let's go. All right, congratulations go out to Sarah Buffone and Rachel Steckley. Woo! Yeah. All right, here's our cheer for you. Ladies, Sarah Buffone, you're smiling all the time, up and down the halls, especially on the field while you're kicking soccer balls. You laugh and smile and celebrate your teammates' successes. You certainly don't give the impression that you have any sports stresses. You lead by example, showing others how to have fun, compete, and cheer up. So this award really captures your gift to get all your teammates to gear up. Congratulations to Sarah on winning this award. Bruins, girl. Rachel Stickley. Hockey on the field and ice seems to be your go-to power sports. I don't know who talks more on any team, except maybe you in your PE course. <laughs> Junior sex is on the ice, chasing the ring or the puck. I, us coaches remember when the goal light was lit, which signaled you had found some good luck. You're a beat smiling and always competing you don't seem to fear it it's the reason you're receiving this award because you've got Bruin spirit congratulations rachel on winning this award bruins girl but in all seriousness buffoning i hope that your shocked celebratory face is mirrored back to you next year in your non-dominant sports because you are that good have faith in yourself, not just your teammates. You're such a good teammate, but you're an outstanding player. Steckley, thank you for showing the newbies what a teammate is. Mm -hmm. Showing up on time, helping with equipment and music, cheering and supporting. Talk as much as you want on the field as long as you're telling them what to do and working your butt off. Congratulations, girls. You're very deserving. Bruins girl! Thank you, Ms. Kalecki and Mr. Smith. Appreciate it. All right, I would now like to ask Ms. Cameron to present the next major award. Ms. Cameron. Lucky me, I get to go after that one. <laughs> so I have the pleasure of awarding the Robert Neff Trophy, which is awarded to a male athlete who has displayed the most sportsmanship during their, their athletic career. Bell has so many great athletes, but it takes more than skill to be acknowledged for sportsmanship. It requires an attitude of dedication, effort and hard work, coupled with a sense of team spirit, a generous desire to see others excel. It was so hard to pick one this year that we picked two. Our winners this year are both great candidates who certainly meet those criteria. They not only trained hard so they could perform at their best in more than one sport, but supported others to do so too. They helped, even led coaching during practices. They encourage their teammates and are always upbeat and considerate of others. Although they're very different, they have much in common. Both are described as quiet, kind, generous, very coachable, and the type of athlete that coaches would love to be able to clone. They're both mature young men, and I'm very grateful that they're still in grade 11, which means that they can continue to share their expertise and experiences with their peers for another year. Our winners of the Robert Neff Trophy are Leo Boyce, and Tristan Laliberte. Congratulations, gentlemen. You deserve it. Congratulations and thank you, Ms. Cameron.
I would now like to ask Mr. Banks to present the next major award, the Alice Jones Memorial Award. Mr. Banks. Hello there. So uh, everything Ms. Cameron just said would apply to the uh, athlete we have here for the Alice Jones Memorial Award, awarded to the most sportsmanlike female athlete. This is going to Megan Earth. This won't be a surprise to many of you who know Megan. Megan is a very special and unique person slash athlete. Um, when I say special and unique, uh, you will find that Megan will often be found reading a book on her way to or maybe even in between shifts. Then she gets on the ice field or court and generally destroys the competition. Never let her calm demeanor fool you. That's just Megan. When she's, <clears throat> when she's going through the opposing team, you'll often hear her knock them down, bump them, or make the winning play. As she does, you'll generally hear a sorry, followed by her mischievous giggle. Megan, congratulations for all the hard work. I've seen you do this from the time you were four years old till now. Wish you all the success. <laughs> That's Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Banks. Um, that uh, The Alice Jones Memorial Award is a, is a special award because it was a, a former teacher here in the phys ed department uh, uh, around 20 years ago, um, she uh, she retired and uh, wonderful, wonderful lady. All right, um, so we're down now to our last um, set of awards. And I would like to ask uh, three teachers, uh, three coaches to present, but I'm gonna start with Ms. Trianta Filu to present the JC Gardner Top Male Athlete Award. Ms. T. All right, the JC Gartner Trophy is for the top male athlete. This person, no, this person is somebody who is disciplined, competitive in their sports. Um, I see in firsthand competitiveness and commitment in this, on the soccer pitch, and I would echo the same on a volleyball court. The recipient this year is focused, committed to winning, but beyond that, he is somebody who represents Bell very, very well on the court, on a soccer pitch, in the hallways. It doesn't really matter. Yet he has an ability to influence his teammates to come together and definitely play as a better team and up their game. This year's recipient of the J.C. Gartner Trophy goes to James Lawton. Congratulations, James, and thank you, Ms. T. I would now like to ask Mr. Jessup uh, and um, uh, let's see, it's Mr. Jessup and Mr. Morris to present the Top Female Athlete Award. Hi, folks. I'm going to present. Uh, Mr. Jessup asked me to present uh, to both uh, of the uh, recipients this year. It's really special this year for me to be able to present the J.C. Gardner uh, um, Award to these two fine athletes. Um, they've played so many sports, basketball, volleyball, hockey, touch football. Uh, one has also done some wrestling and some track and field. Um, I'm going to speak about their contributions to touch football, but their, their contributions to every sport are exactly the same. Somebody who's just incredibly committed um, to training, uh, incredibly committed to the team, um, you know, whether it's playing a new position or doing whatever the coach asks. Um, and then through it all, they just bring this uh, sense of humor um, that, that is just so refreshing. And so it's just great to be a part of. Um, a little special thing with regard to touch football. Um, I have a special situation that's never really happened where these two athletes turned out to be basically two of the best quarterbacks in the city. And uh, just the way they handled it was amazing where, um, okay, I'm not playing quarterback right now. I'll go play receiver and, and, and be a, a fantastic player in that regard. It was just great. And they were just so supportive of each other. It was just uh, wonderful to behold. This year's winner are Jada Banks and Becca Deneen. <laughs> Congratulations, girls. Thank you, Mr. Moores. Um, I would like to uh, close off this meeting uh, by uh, congratulating all the athletes uh, once again and, um, and also thanking all the coaches 
for all your efforts and um, everything you do for the athletes. Uh, it, it's wonderful. We take time away from our families and, uh, and you have to admit though, it is a lot of fun as well. I'm sure you, uh, you would uh, say that. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I will stop recording and then if you, if coaches want to stay on for a few moments, that'd be great. Uh, but uh, here's to 2019, 2020 athletics. It's never been like this before, but, uh, and hopefully never like it again. Ruins Gurr. Uh, have a wonderful summer athletes. Uh, we're gonna miss you. And coaches, thank you once again. I'll miss you guys too. All right.